Welcome to Smart Dancers TV. I'm Alexandra Carney, performance dance coach and author of How to Be a Ballet Dancer. Today, let's talk about favorites. Many of you have asked me through the website howtobeaballetdancer.com what were my favorite step, my favorite uh, ballet, or the favorite country I've danced in. So here we go. What is my favorite ballet? My favorite ballet is Romeo and Juliet from the Paris Opera Ballet the Nouria version. It's an amazingly beautiful ballet. It's uh, between neoclassical and classical, so I like this mix of styles. Um, as you know, Romeo and Juliet, the story is amazing. And I also found that um, the principle in the version that's on, available on DVD with Monique Lodier is just stunning. She was made for this role, so it's beautiful. Now, what's my favorite dance step? I really like the renversé attitude, so you go posé, renversé attitude. I like this one because it's, um, to be able to do it well, you need to find a balance between control and let go of your center, which is very important, as you know, in, in dance in general. And I find that it's the perfect reflection of what I believe in ballet, as well as being a beautiful step. Um, if you've taken a master class with me, you'll, you'll know that I do that step very often. <laughs> now, what's my favorite country? What is the favorite country I've danced in? When I was a dancer, I've danced in many countries that were uh, first world countries, and then I went to Georgia, so old USSR country uh, near Georgia, near Russia, sorry. And it was just amazing. We did this exchange with the dancers of the Tbilisi, so the capital city dancers at the opera. And it was just amazing to see that they were still dancing on these rough wooden floors. And we used one pair of point shoes a day because of the floors were just destroying our shoes. <laughs> and that's, how, that's their dancing conditions on a day-to-day -day basis. And they were just amazing dancers. So, it's really not, uh, it made me discover that it's really not about what you get, you know, nice clothing and beautiful dance studios and, you know, perfect bars. It's not about that. It's really about what you make of the dancing because seeing those dancers with very minimal conditions, not even good water to drink, were able to do all these amazing dances, really told me anyone can be a dancer as long as you want it. So thank you for your questions. Please leave your comments as usual and I'll see you next week.